that to come for Ellie. Lots of love and hugs from Mummy and Daddy, Grandma, Grandad, Nana and Grandpa, and all the rest of your family. Well, lots of your family wishing you a big happy birthday today. Now, do keep sending in your cards nice and early to the usual address. And if it's your big day today, happy, happy birthday! birthday! Hi, my name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big oh. red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone can know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island So much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. <laughs> Woo. Another fine mess. your cosy Emily Elizabeth, but you made a bit of a mess in the process. Oops! <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll clean it later, Mum. Charlie's dad is taking us swimming today. <laughs> All right, but don't put it off too long. All right, Mum. See you later. Let's go, Clifford! Hello, everyone! Oh, 
want to take some pictures. <laughs> Here I go. or anything. Oh, don't worry. I won't. Mom! I can't find Charlie's softball! Oh, it has to be here somewhere. <gasps> Look, Clifford. We haven't played this for ages. Should we go to the park and have some fun? Well done, Clifford! All right, here it goes! Hey, look, Charlie! That looks like Glyver's toy. Come on, Emily said she'd return my softball today so you and I could practice catching. <coughs> Hello, Emily Elizabeth. Hello, Emily Elizabeth. <coughs> Hello, Clifford. Hey, boy. Hello, guys. Did you bring my softball, Emily? Oh, I looked everywhere for it this morning, Charlie, but... I couldn't find it. Really? Baz and I were going to practice today. Mm, I know. I'm sorry. Um, but I did find Clifford's toy. Do you want to play with us? No, Baz and I really want to play softball. You'll find it by tomorrow, won't you? We need it for the game. Uh, uh, don't worry. I'll bring it. Can you bring my camera tomorrow too? Oh, your camera? Uh-huh. Remember? I promised everyone that I'd take the team photo. Um, yes. Come on, Clifford. I think we should go home. Bye. See, See you later. Bye-bye. I have serious cleaning up to do. Surprised you can find anything in here, Emily Elizabeth. I know. You didn't happen to see my softball, did you? Oh, is that missing too? Well, it's not really missing. I know it's in my room. Somewhere. Oh, how did you let it get like this? It's summer holidays. There just hasn't been time to clean it. Well, I'm sure the ball and camera are in here somewhere. Just keep looking. Oh, where could they be? I'm sorry, Clifford. I know you want me to read to you tonight, but I really must find that ball in the camera. Mm. Oh, I never should have let my room get so messy. I wish I'd just put everything away where it belongs in the first place. Mm -hmm. Do you know what, Clifford? Tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up early and clean up this mess. And tonight, we're going to read together, just like I promised. <laughs> I wonder if Emily Elizabeth has cleaned up her room yet this morning. Have some fun. Whoa. We're 
where could she be, Charlie? I don't know. Emily's never late. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Here comes Clifford! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! All right! Hi, guys! Here's the ball! Great! Did you bring my camera? Here you go, Vaz. Thank you very much for letting me borrow it. That's all right. I'm sorry I'm late. I had a little trouble finding everything. But I don't think I'm going to have that trouble anymore. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's get this game started. Yeah! Say summer holidays! No, wait! Everyone smile and say, clean your room! Huh? fantastic view from way up high. But with everyone in the basket, it was too heavy to lift off the ground. So Speckle jumped out of the basket to let his friends have a turn in the balloon. Seeing Robbie, Reba, Luna and Darnell enjoying themselves, Speckle thought that this was the most fantastic view of all. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? Oh. <laughs> of finding a superhero down the back of your sofa. I'm ready for launching. They are numbers. Whee! On a mission. Yeah! To help. I'm investigating now. No problems too big. Tell us about it. Or too small. <laughs> it's working! Number Jacks, they're waiting for your call. Weekdays at 8 on CBBS. If kittens were slimy, rabbits were prickly, crocodiles were cuddly, and tigers <laughs> were tickly. Imagine if dogs had webbed feet, penguins had antlers, snakes had feathers, and ducks had trunks. Imagine if elephants could hop. <laughs> 